Hi, Anision. I just watched your video and I felt compelled to reply to this because for me, it was incredibly relatable. I've been through something very similar emotionally, not circumstantially, but emotionally. I went through something really, really similar. Uh, first, I'll tell you what happened. I lived with a guy for almost a year. We were together for going on two years, and I thought of him as my best friend for a long time. First time he broke up with me, he shattered my heart into a million pieces because of the way that he handled it. Um, we got back together for about two weeks. Um, no, maybe almost a month. We were, to, we were together again for almost a month after that. And uh, I ended up breaking up with him because I was able to come to the realization that that entire relationship had been verbally and emotionally abusive for me. He was really heavy on the manipulation, um, guilt trip, a lot of uh, discouragement on his part. I left that relationship feeling tattered, you know, absolutely tired, weary. You're not supposed to leave a relationship feeling like that. You're not supposed to stay in a relationship feeling like that. But anyway, what I'm getting at here is that I think that what uh, what this girl did to you while you were in Korea is a form of abuse. It's a form of emotional abuse. And uh, I don't care if you found out about it after you got back, while you were gone, it doesn't matter. That is a form of abuse. And I know that you formed a bond with this person. I know that she absolutely swept you off your feet. But the fact of the matter is, this isn't someone, I don't think that this is someone that you're meant to stay in contact with. I tried staying in contact with my ex after I broke up with him. And to be honest with you, I left that situation feeling even more conflicted than I did to begin with. So I think that the fact that you found Sky happened for a reason. I think that the timing of that happened for a reason. And thank God for that. I'm really happy for you. Um, but I think that is a way, I think that life has a way of telling you things. And I think that that was a way of life telling you that you need to move on. You need to not stay in contact with this person, especially if you haven't heard from her in several months. You're right. That is really telling of her intentions. And I think that her intention was to, you know, I think that she was seeking something that she shouldn't have been seeking something superficial, something that she had no right to. I know that you feel like shit right now. You know, I know that you want to stay in contact with this person because she was your friend for a long time. But trust me, you are better off without it. You don't need the additional drama. You don't need the additional bullshit. It's just not necessary. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if you do hear from her again, my suggestion to you would be to say, I think it's better if we just stop talking. I think that we're both better off if we just go our separate ways. Anyway, like I said, um, good luck. Much love.